Um, okay, uh, let's uh, proceed and let's get familiar with the interface of the application. Um, now, uh, before you install SDL Trader Studio, you need to make sure that your system uh, matches the requirements meant for the application. Uh, in this uh, video, I'd like to uh, simply dis discuss and describe some of the basic features of the application and show you where they are. Uh, you don't really have to memorize this, but only you know have some kind of a general idea of what the what the application is. Uh, now we are viewing the home view, right? The the home page, or also called welcome welcome page. We can see that we have a number of options available for us. Uh, from from this from this view, like this first one, which is uh, inactive because we don't have any project opened yet. So uh, the project settings uh, dialog uh, will let you uh, adjust some of the features of your some of the parameters of your project. Like you can add translation memories, you can delete translation memories to work with. You can add different. Uh, you can add create auto suggest dictionary or a multi-term dictionary and also some other you can also set some other parameters here now you have the upgrade translation memories button which we would use which you would use to update uh, your translation memory if would if it was created in a previous version of the application we have the align documents feature which which is used uh, in the following situation, um, um, say you have a an original file and you have a translation which could be done by someone else, and all you need in this situation is you want to have a bilingual file which will contain both the original uh, information and the translation. So this feature lets you um, create a bilingual file. Uh, you'll be able to actually view your original file and your your source file and your target file and uh, as the system recognizes the the percentage of um, accordances between these two files you'll be able to make some adjustments and save and create a bilingual file which you could actually use later in creating a translation memory as well now you're familiar with uh, this feature and this feature as well I've been telling you about these two ones before and um, <clears throat> from the very home um, tab we can see a number of options available to us uh, I'd name as the ones that we might use our new project the new project feature which you would use uh, to actually create a project a translation project to, to work with uh, there's also a workflow workflow called translate single document but uh, there are some dis disadvantages about this feature which I will tell you later and uh, the open package feature which you would use to work with different packages the thing is that uh, customers might be sending you uh, their own packages that will contain files to be translated and they might also contain the translation memories for you to use so you would have in this situation you would have to use this feature to open a package to perform a translation and to uh, send a return package instead of instead of uh, sending a file to your customer um, this is this is probably what I would like to limit uh, to within uh, this environment. I should also say that within my course, I only focus on the features of the application that I use. Uh, so uh, my approach is not the only possible one in this situation, and you can definitely uh, apply your own approach as you become familiar with the application and as you learn what it can do for you. Uh, now let's switch to the projects uh, view. Uh, and I suggest uh, opening a, a project that I was doing before for us to be able to activate some of the options here and to get familiar with them. So all I do is press Control O. I have this open project uh, dialog and I go to my sample project folder and I open a sample project. Uh, this is what a project looks like here in this environment. It contains the location of your, uh, your project and some additional information as well. Now you are familiar with the project settings dialog that what I was telling you that I was telling you about before. This is the very window where you make the adjustments. Like here in the language pairs um, area, you would uh, be able to cr uh, add translation memories as you have. I have, as you see, as you can see, I have a translation memory added here. You'll be able to add term bases. There is none available at the moment to me. And you'll be able to add the so-called auto-suggest dictionaries, as I was telling you before. Uh, these dictionaries let us speed up the process of typing. 
We also have the features like new project to create one, uh, open project that I was just using, uh, batch tasks, uh, a number of different tasks that we can that we will be using during our course. Uh, if you want to um, view project files, you you will use this option, and uh, it'll uh, switch you to the files view, which we will be considering uh, next. You can remove your project from this list, uh, selecting this remove from list feature. Uh, you can also uh, actually get familiar with what a project is, opening this, uh, this, uh, pressing this uh, button. Here we have uh, the project itself. We have a folder with uh, source files. We have a folder with target files and reports, which is some statistical information. Now let's go to the source folder. Here you can see the file that I need to translate, which is the which is a Word document. As I was adding this file to the project, I uh, the, the application created this SDL XLIF file that I that that needs to be actually created because this is actually a guarantee that you'll be able to save your target file as you complete the translation. And this PDF file is the one that I uh, copied and pasted myself into this original folder, this source folder, just to make sure that I ha have all the source files in one place. And here's the target folder which contains uh, the uh, bilingual SDL XLIF file containing both uh, the source and target uh, information and uh, I already have saved my Word document which contains which is actually the completed file the final completed file which is ready for me to send to my customer. Uh, also uh, on this ribbon we can see such, we can use such features as open uh, open package as I was telling you before uh, on the welcome screen right open package is something you would use uh, when you work with open, uh, when you work with packages and there's an option of creating one if your customer wants you to complete your translation and to create a project and send create a package and send it to your customer okay uh, now we can switch to the files view. In this uh, view, you can see the files contained in your project, in this very project, right? In my sample project, I have these, this one file, which I have uh, translated before, and here it is was, was finished for 100%. Uh, here, I'd rather focus on quite a number, just quite a few uh, features like uh, open for translation. Uh, you can also uh, double-click on this file to uh, prepare it for translation, to start translating it. You can also add more files to your project, to this project, right? That I was telling you about. Uh, and you might as well delete some of the f those files if you happen to need to do it. Now, uh, the reports view contains some analytical, some statistical information about the number of uh, matches uh, uh, determined by the system during the repetition, during sorry, during the preparation of the file. And there is also and other statistics about the number of sources, sorry, about a uh, number of segments that were unchanged, that were copy sourced and updated. All this will be considered later, so you don't really need to focus on this at the moment. Now, uh, the main, actually, the main uh, view here is the editor view. Uh, we'll be doing our translations in the editor view. Uh, as you can see at the moment, we don't have anything uh, active here yet, so all we need to do is switch back to the Files view and double-click the file to be translated. Um, as you double-click it, you see that uh, I've been automatically switched to the Editor view, and here I have my source file, every single uh, sentence contained in my source, contained in my source file, and I ca you can see the, the target, right? The target area. As you can see, I have translated it, and at the bottom you can see 100% done and 0% remaining undone, right? Uh, here we also have a number of options available to us in the in the ribbon interface, like um, the formatting area for us to do different formatting as we need. There is also this uh, the feature is called feature called quick, quick insert. We can insert different tags. This is also important in uh, in this kind of application in Trader Studio, and we will actually see how it works a bit later as we do the translation ourselves. 
okay we have the concordance search option here available to us and we can do concordance search both using source uh, words from source and words from target area as well we have the confirm option which is actually important because it lets us save a sentence and uh, the sentence will be actually confirmed and saved in the translation memory that was connected to our project there is also this feature called copy source to target this is uh, particularly useful when you have some characters uh, specific characters in your source and you definitely need to preserve and save them in your target so you would in this situation you would have to use this option to uh, copy your source and paste it into the target area uh, plus uh, if there is a need for you to clear your target segment you would use this clear target segment option and uh, there is also there are also such options as go to for you to go to a specific segment you go need to go to and a segment in Trader Studio is uh, these numbered elements though they might be either individual words or uh, sentences the segmentation proce process is done by this application as you prepare a document for translation and the preparation is done during the process of creating your project and you have those features that you're probably familiar with from the Word, uh, from the Microsoft Word application, the ones like Find, this is Control F, and uh, Replace, this is Control G, in case you need something to replace in your document. And uh, yeah, this is probably the main what I was, uh, what, I, what, I need, what I needed to focus on within the editor view. Uh, we also have this transition results uh, tab here. This is where uh, the program, the application, will be displaying any matches found automatically by it. Like, see, I can uh, move my cursor here, and I will see that an, a, a match was found, uh, saying who created this sentence, uh, and when it was saved. Here's the window for concordance, concordance search, and uh, if you uh, if a system finds it necessary, it will be informing you, sending you different comments and messages in these two uh, tabs. Okay, and you just need to get familiar with them and uh, perform some actions if they are required. And in this area, this is the area that you would use uh, to um, connect a term base to your project created in uh, multi-term as I was telling you before so in case the system finds any matches in your source uh, it'll be displaying you the matches here in this in this area in this window and all you have to do as you translate is you'll be able to simply choose uh, which of the matches to be used in your translation or not to be used and you also have the preview uh, feature here to be able to see what your document will look like uh, in as you complete your translation uh, So uh, and the last view that we have here is the translation memories view This is the one that you would use to make some manipul manipulations with translation memories You can create them you can open them you can upgrade them and you can uh, import information into it or export from it uh, This is just up to you up to the user Plus, you have those two other options that I was telling you before available as well. Now, uh, a number of uh, basic options are available to you from the file menu, as you can guess. You can create some new documents or you can open different uh, elements like packages or project. This is up to you, right? Uh, I should tell you that uh, in, just in order to uh, save some working space here, I tend to uh, deactivate some of the elements so that I was able to have more space available as I work. Like here, I uh, switch off this, uh, this navigation pane, I minimize it. As I minimize it, I, I still have the icons for the main views available. So uh, I, I usually keep it like this. And uh, as to this ribbon interface, I also prefer to uh, memorize uh, keyboard shortcuts for the main uh, for the main commands for the main um, actions. So I would most often also deactivate it by pressing Control F1 like this. But since we uh, only learn, let's leave it for a while. Pressing Control F1 again. Uh, if uh, you need to somehow mod modify your workspace, you can, uh, as you can see, you can close some of the uh, windows. And if you need to uh, mm, return them back, you would just need to go to the view 
uh, uh, and uh, select reset window layout. This will let you return to the original um, layout and work in it without any modifications to it. So uh, probably this is it for the for the just general introduction about what the features are and let's continue our work in the next video.